so that's all looking pretty decent. And I would keep fiddling with this for a while just because I really want things to look nice. But I'm just going to leave it kind of here-ish and fix up the nostrils. And you could you could even help out this guy, but that's looking pretty decent there. You can do things like just Damien Standard with a bit of a bit of the lazy mouse on will help that. But now that we've got the topology working in the right area, the topology kind of helps us out because it's going in the right area too. And you could even come in and use things like even the standard brush, which is, we'll get into the differences between the brushes, but I hardly ever use the standard brush. But we could use the standard brush on this one and then with a bigger laziness, that might be too much. I oh, know that's okay. Just coming around to sort of milk that area. Just sort of inflating that out. Standard brush, I call it like a mini inflate. Something like that, just helping it out and smoothing that edge off to get the sort of hard area like it's coming into the skin. Maybe I'd spend a bit more time there, but that's kind of getting it. You can see how that's getting wonky now. So I can just come down to a lower level just with the move brush. Bring that up and down to get flatter, nicer forms. It's those sorts of things that I'm looking for in models. So all the lines are clean. Okay, so here just on this area, let's have a look and res up again. And four, and we're just sort of going to come in and put a little bit of a, I don't know, that sort of a shape, even make it a little bit more interesting, sort of cut in the line there, smooth it out. That line didn't work super well. It's giving it a little bit more of a tighter kind of a feel of trying to. It's probably just not helping us there. It's probably just not looking great. But it's just those little details that can sort of help us. Maybe on the bottom there. This is where I would go up probably another level. So just control D to go up again. Gives those few more polys to play with. So a lot of it's building up a smooth and then knocking it back. So going a bit too far and then going backwards. It's a good sculpting principle. Bring that up. And you can see all of a sudden now we've just made that way, way sharper and cleaner. You could work this area here with clay build up a little bit. I wouldn't be at a, such a high level. So the levels are important. They're super important. Just to give it a little bit more shadow just in that jaw sort of an area there. Bring it back. But now when we go up, it's just giving that little bit of a hint of a jaw happening under there. Maybe that's not quite simple enough. Shift D, knocking back a level. Coming up, smoothing that out a bit. Just so everything's nice. And you can see I've really hardly touched this area at all. Now we could come back a little bit. Shift D, Shift D and smooth it out a little bit. Use H polish and all those techniques. But it looked pretty good because we got a pretty nice shape there in the beginning. You can think about your cross sections, make it more triangular, and there's lots you could do there with that neck. But that's about it. So there we go. We could compare that to our back plate there. Shift Z for our guy there. You could start to tweak that more and more. I can see that I did something slightly different in the, the mouth there for that one. Quite like that shape. It's got a nicer shape. It's just the extra time spending getting that line going from there through there. Whereas this one's looking not quite so worked. I think on this guy, the jaw is a bit sharper in that area. That's what's giving him a bit of a nicer feel. So let's just do that quickly. Dropping down a couple of levels, just nice and easy. Now using the clay build up on a really low level. So I'm wanting to bring out a bit more of a triangular jaw here, following that ref. You can feel that in the 3D ref. 3D ref's way easier to follow than 2D ref. That's why this is a good one just to start with. Maybe that's not quite low enough. Sorry, too low. So using alt to sort of hammer into that and just trying to bring this out so that that really here in the chin area is more of a triangle from the front view. So I want that chin to come out a bit more in the front view there and not be so rounded. So just sort of coloring and just pressing really lightly with this clay build up. And you can sort of see that's connecting together now and trying to get that looking a little bit better, cutting in there a little bit to get that nice shape coming down and through. And of course we can use a H polish to sort of straighten it all up. That's what I was doing originally, sort of trying to get that triangular shape coming through there. So now that I've just pulled that out, just bring it back a bit. And now we're sharpening up that shape subtly, in a subtle kind of a way. And if we res up, now we can use the H polish a little bit to get rid of all these bumps that we've introduced. So I love H polish. People use some of the other brushes for flatten, but H polish is great on these rounded surfaces. Trim Dynamics one to take note of, I think if you're doing a lot of hard surface, try to get rid of that little crease in there. And again, I'm not going to really harp on this. Don't really want to be here doing this forever, but you really can spend a lot of detail work, a lot of time in this section to really nail those forms. So there, I've just sort of brought out that line. I'd work that more 
maybe move it down a touch. So again, you could mask off that area pretty easily. You could blur it as well. Blurring is like control and then tapping on the mesh a few times. Just go out and then control tap on it a few times to blur that mask. Big brush, and then you can just sort of bring that down. So you can see there's a lot of masking involved in these sort of workflows. Smooth it out a bit. That's now getting that looking nice and definitely look from a few angles. I think that could be a little bit better, but I'm going to leave that there. Just can't help myself. Keep wanting to make everything better and better. But even if I was doing like a really warty creature, lots of bumps and, and things all over him, see his eyes much, much simpler in that one. Whereas I put the eye, eye in there. So if I wanted to get rid of that, so even if I was doing a, a really warty creature with lots of bumps and things, I would spend a fair bit of time just getting this really simple, nice forms down. And then the texturing will only, and the detailing will only enhance that form. But what people will try to do is they try to save their models with details. And that's the wrong way. It's like saving a cake with the icing doesn't really work like that. That's not a good thing. You want your cake to be awesome and then the icing will just make it more awesome. If you can get these simple models down, then you're going to be rock solid killer at the detail. So there we go. So we'll, we'll leave it at that phase. That's worth saving now.